Hey, what's going on guys? Leaps fan here, and today I'm bringing you guys my first NHL 17 video here on the channel. And not only that, this is the first Hockey Ultimate Team video here in NHL 17. So, it's been about a week and a half now since NHL 17 has been released. And I pretty much took the whole week and a bit since the game's been released just to kind of get used to the game and just kind of enjoy the game. Because um, I didn't play the NHL 17 beta, so... Uh, prior to uh, picking up NHL 17, I didn't have any uh, experience playing the game. So uh, when I picked up the game on, uh, I didn't pick it up on release day actually. I picked it up on the Thursday because uh, I worked those two days. Uh, no, not the, yeah. I worked the Tuesday and the Wednesday and I worked 12 hour shifts and I usually don't get home until like quarter to nine at night so that doesn't leave me with much time to uh to even have fun playing nhl you know it leaves me with like an hour and i gotta go to bed so that's why i picked it up on the thursday now um this game definitely does not play very much like nhl 16 in certain aspects i mean the one thing i did notice um right off the bat is that the bounces this year are just absolutely ridiculous um, there have been some incredibly, incredibly weak goals that have been scored against me just because of the, the bounces or for whatever reason this year. J just some of these goals that I'm seeing are ridiculous. And, you you know, you go into hut, you outplay your opponent, yet you have nothing to show for it because the bounces go their way. And it, it's just ridiculous and it's frustrating. But... Um, you know, I adjusted my play style a little bit, and I, I kind of figured out what I have to do to be successful in this year's game. I mean, like I said, it doesn't play like NHL 16, so I have to stop playing it like it is NHL 16. Play it like it's NHL 17. As you see there, he gets a, a tip there, originally called uh, No Goal. We'll take another look at this. Uh, it's a nice little tip, though. Jordan Everly there. Anyways, yeah, I gotta stop playing this game like it's NHL 16. It's NHL 17, obviously. The physics are different a little bit, and it just, overall it just plays a little bit differently. And I've been finding that if I tighten up defensively, and I, uh, um, you know, I get lots of pucks to the net, I'm more successful now than I was um, when I first picked up the game. Because I was struggling for the first little while. Um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, but if you do, you might have seen some very uh, frustrated tweets from me from playing this game. Like, I, I've, uh, I've been saying how I'm done with this game and all that crap. It's just been frustrating. Like, I haven't done well in Draft Champions either. I don't even think I've won a game in Draft Champions. And it's been really hard for me to get gameplay when I'm struggling so hard in this game. Just because of the, some of the, the bounces and just how... I don't want to say ice tilt, but it really does seem like there is ice tilt in this game because, you know, like I said earlier, I, I can outplay my opponent and then yet have nothing to show for it because he gets all the bounces and all these lucky goals. And it's really made me question, like, I know I'm not a good NHL player, you know, like I'm decent, I can hold my own, but it, it really made me question, am I really just awful at this game? Because I, I know, like, I've been playing this game since 2003 I've been buying this game every year since 2003 like I, I'm pretty decent at the game like I'm, I'm no freaking competitive player or anything like that but at the same time like when I first started playing this game I, I was just struggling hardcore so I don't know I really questioned my ability in this game but I, I just I made a few changes changed up my strategies changed my play style and I've been noticing that uh, I've been a lot more successful since I've done that, and this year, like, if you guys watched uh, Bacon Country's video on how to be successful in Hockey Ultimate Team this year, um, he's 100% right when he says point shots and lots of traffic to the net is going to be one of your best bets for scoring goals in this year's game, and that is 100% accurate. So that's one of the things I changed up in my play style. I started um, taking more shots from the point and trying to get as much traffic to the net as possible because that seems to be what is working this year so far. Um, I don't think they've released a patch yet for NHL 17, but maybe once they do release the first patch and, uh, well, I guess release the first tuner set, um, some of these bad bounces um, will slowly 
uh, decrease because there has been a lot of bad bounces. I've said that so many times in this video, but it is true. It is the year of the bad bounce. That is what I'm saying so far. The year of the bad bounce and the point shots. And as you see, that is just a filthy fucking goal there by Nikolai Kuhlman. I've got my Leafs line kind of mixed with the former Leaf there. Nazem Kadri, uh, Joffrey Lupul, and Nikolai Kuhlman. I used to love when uh, Kuhlman played for the Leafs. He was a great player. And as you see there, I just dance by this guy's whole team and pick up a pretty decent goal, I might add. So I was pretty happy with that. I made him watch it. Kind of a douchebag, but whatever. It felt good to score a goal like that, especially when I've been struggling so hard this year in this game. So that would do it for this game, guys. We finally pick up a decent victory in this one. And if you guys want a good cheap goalie, definitely pick up Frederick Anderson. He has been an absolute stud for me so far. Anyways, guys, that was my little rant, I guess you can call it, for NHL 17. I am still having fun playing the game and everything, don't get me wrong. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys want to see from me on this channel in NHL 17. I've got to be a pro series that I'm working on editing right now. I've already recorded the commentary because I did it live. So I've got that in my on my back burner right now. Um, I'm definitely going to do some live shootout commentary. I'm going to do all kinds of stuff. Anyways, guys, just let me know what you want to see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, guys, have a good one. Peace.